Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Biomes of Plenty in Minecraft 1.15.1. I know right here on this video it's 1.14.1. That's because I'm recording the 1.15.1 video right now. So yeah, basically the video you're watching will be right here whenever it's uploaded. But nevertheless, we're going to be going through every single step of getting Biomes of Plenty from downloading it to installing it to getting it in game to even showing you how to make sure you set up the correct world for Biomes of Plenty to work. Because if you just join into a vanilla Minecraft world, it doesn't necessarily work correctly. So we're going to go through every single step of getting Bombs of Plenty set up, installed, and working in Minecraft 1.15.1. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS break in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great server running Bombs of Plenty, you can set up Bombs of Plenty on Apex Minecraft Hosting, no problem. Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go, so you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into getting Biomes of Plenty. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is actually our text tutorial on downloading and installing Biomes of Plenty. Sometimes people say I go too fast when I'm doing these tutorials, and if that's the case, you can go through this text tutorial here, and it will go at your own pace. However, I'm going to be going through everything this tutorial does in this video here. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on this yellow Download Biomes of Plenty button. And then when you click on that, it will take you off to Biomes of Plenty official download page. I need to accept the cookie notice. And here we are on the official download page. Now what we want to do is come over here to the right-hand sidebar, scroll down, and then on the bottom right down here, you'll see Minecraft 1.15. And then under that, you'll see Biomes of Plenty 1.15.1. See that? So under Minecraft 1.15, we have Biomes of Plenty 1.15.1. And then we want to click the purple download button to the right of that. That's then going to go ahead, take us off, and get the download started after a few seconds. Now we will need to save this file on Google Chrome. So if we download at the bottom left here, we will see that we need to save this file. It's safe to save it as long as it as says Bombs of Plenty in it, which it does in Ensign.jar, which ours does. So we can go ahead and click Keep on that on Google Chrome. Now if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's pulled up in the center of your screen, and it's safe to save the file on Firefox as long as it again begins with Bombs of Plenty and Ensign.jar. Now we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download and install Forge. So to do that, we can go here. This is going to be the third link in the description down below. And once you're here, go ahead and scroll down, and you will see the Download Forge button here. Click on that and it will take you off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure, we need to accept the cookie notice, but we want to make sure that this is for Minecraft 1.15.1. As you can see here, it isn't. It should say MC 1.15.1. To make sure it does, go ahead and click on the 1.15 section over here on the left sidebar and then click on 1.15.1 there. When you click on that, it will take us off to download for Minecraft Forge MC 1.15.1. Once you see that right there, right here in this location, you can come under Download Latest and click on the Installer button. Once you click on the Installer there, it will take us off to Add Focus where we have to wait a few seconds. Stop! Don't click anything on the page. Stop it. Just wait five seconds. And then in the top right, you will see a Skip Add button. Don't click near Download. It's not ready. It's lying to you. Skip Add in the top right. That red Skip button, go ahead and click on that. Then in the bottom left, you will have a file download that has Forge in the title. As you can see, ours has Forge. It ends in .jar. We know it is safe to keep it. Now, Mozilla Firefox in the center of your screen, you're going to save it. But if it doesn't say Forge, that's fine. Just don't save the file and click that red Skip Add button in the top right. Now we want to go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we have Forge and we have Biomes of Plenty. If these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out about it. They're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, for me, click the little Windows icons in the top left for you. It might be in the bottom left of your screen. But click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in Downloads. You'll then have this Downloads File folder in Windows here. Click on that. And then in here, you will have Biomes of Plenty and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, let's go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do that, we want to go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. However, if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary, or if you do and it doesn't work, no worries, we have a solution for you. Go to the description down below, and here's how to download and install Java. This will install Java on your computer so you can open things with Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have it at all, this is what you need to do. However, if you install this and it still doesn't work, or if you already have Java and it's still not working, you need to run the jar fix here. So go through, run the jar fix, set that up. It's a very simple three-step tutorial here. It's basically downloading your program, running it, and it makes all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. 
hand our desktop, we can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SC Binary, and click OK. It will now go ahead and open up the mod system installer for Forge. We just want to click on Install Client and click OK, and now it'll download and do everything that it needs to do to set up Forge for Minecraft 1.15.1. Going to download as you can see remapping jar doing all that stuff and then eventually when it finishes we will be able to see that it has successfully installed boom there we go successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.15.1 awesome we want to go ahead and click ok and now we can go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher so let's go ahead and do that open up the normal minecraft launcher here from here we want to go ahead and click on the installations tab and then you should have this a forge profile but if you don't have a forge profile what do you do well no worries i'm going to show you how to make one just go ahead and click on the plus new button up here in the top left and then go ahead and name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com why am i naming it that because that is our incredible grief protected minecraft server we have custom grief protected survival two survival servers medieval survival with over 30 quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and incredible community Community. Redstone's lab there. It's absolutely awesome. And then we do have our custom Skyblock server as well with custom islands, OP enchants, and OP enchant starter kit. It's amazing. So come check it out. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Over 100 players online every single day. Nevertheless, once you've named your profile here, we want to click on the drop down box under version. Then you want to find release 1.15.1 forge. If you have multiple ones like I do, click the one that's closest to the top. You may need to scroll down some to find yours, but mine is right here at the top, release 1.15.1 forge. Click on that. I'm going to go ahead and change our resolution so we'll be able to see better in game. And then you can go ahead and click the create button down here in the bottom right. Then you'll have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile or whatever you named your profile down here at the bottom. Highlight over that and click on the green play button. Once this is opened up, it's now time to go ahead and get Biomes of Plenty installed. So as you can see, we have the Forge early loading process. Then once that's finished, Minecraft is going to open itself right on up. What's kind of cool is in a minute, you'll be able to see that open up here. Now, I do already have a few mods installed from a previous tutorial, so you'll see that on the Mods tab when we do click on it, but that's not going to be there for you. However, we're going to remove them before continuing with this tutorial. But nevertheless, once you're here on the main menu, go ahead and click on the Mods tab here, and then click on this Open Mods folder. Once you click on Open Mods folder, you'll have a Mods folder open like this. Now, you won't have those in there, right? Those mods won't be there. Yours will be empty like this. And now all you want to do is, in your mods folder, just take Biomes of Plenty and drag and drop it into it. Simple as that, quick and easy. Now we can go ahead and we actually do need to close out of Minecraft, right? So we need to X out of Minecraft here, open up the Minecraft launcher again, and then go ahead and make sure that Forge profile is selected. As you can see, it is our play.breakdowncraft.com profile with Forge that we set up is selected and click play. Now, when you open up Minecraft 1.15.1, this time you'll actually see, there it is, completing the complete, completed deep scan of Biomes of Plenty. That means it enabled the mod and things are working there. That is awesome. It's then going to go ahead and open up Minecraft now. And if we click on that Mods tab, we will in fact see the Biomes of Plenty mod there. But on top of that, I'm going to jump in game. I'm going to show you this mod in game. So here we are, Mods. There is the Biomes of Plenty mod installed in 1.15.1 we are good to go. But if we go ahead and click on single player here, I'm gonna create a new world because that is always recommended for biomes of plenty. So we're gonna call this biomes of plenty, obviously. I'm gonna make it a creative world just because it's easier for me to show you all what's going on with that. Then what we wanna do is click on more world options. Then we wanna come over here to world type and click until we see biomes of plenty. There it is, world type, biomes of plenty. Now we go ahead and click done and we can create our world. So that means this is going to have all of the Biomes of Plenty things installed and up and running on it without any issues or anything like that. It's gonna have all of the custom biomes and trees and everything that Biomes of Plenty adds. It adds in a ton of stuff. It's going to be in here and working in this world. And that's why you wanna make sure you always set up a new world with Biomes of Plenty. You don't necessarily have to, but I would just recommend it. And let's go ahead and let some of the chunks around us load in here. And then we'll be able to do a few things. So first and foremost, I'm gonna fly until we find some Biomes of Plenty stuff. I believe that is actually from Biomes of Plenty. No, it's not, it's just a lilac. So I'm gonna fly around here. Yeah, this is all from Biomes of Plenty. We can actually hit F3 and see the biomes here are going to be a bit different. So we see Biomes of Plenty Shrubland is where we are right now. And then if we fly into another Biomes of Plenty world, so this is just a Minecraft birch forest, but as we fly, we'll eventually hit another Biomes of Plenty biome. When we do that, it will change yet again. So as you can see, we're in birch forest hills, still a Minecraft biome, nothing too fancy there. But once we hit ourselves another Biomes of Plenty biome, which I think this is gonna be one right here, 
Let's see, Biomes of Plenty, Steepy Biome, right here. So as you can see, we have a, a Biomes of Plenty Biome here, and then there's another Biomes of Plenty Biome right over here. Look at that. I love this. This is one of the cooler ones. It's very, very custom. As you can see, this is going to be the Silk Glade Biomes of Plenty Biome. So pretty cool stuff, a very, very awesome mod. And then if we go ahead and hit E and open up Creative, we can see all of the Biomes of Plenty blocks are in fact here. And then last but not least, just to prove that we are in 1.15, because I always like to do that, we can go ahead and spawn her in a honeybee, or a couple honeybees. There we go, see, we are in 1.15, native and good to go. So yeah, there is that. That is how you can download and install Biomes of Plenty in Minecraft 1.15.1. If you do have any questions about Biomes of Plenty, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if we did help you install Biomes of Plenty. Also, come join us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have incredible custom skyblock, custom survival servers, medieval survival, aquatic survival, and we are in development on a factions game mode. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. What's the name of this biome? That's really cool. Cherry Blossom Grove. I like it. But nevertheless, I will see you all in the next video. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.